over the weekend I was at a relative's house and we were having a look around the garden and I came across this. This is an African violet in very poor condition. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you plant an African violet in the wrong soil, you don't give it enough light, you don't give it enough fertilizer, and you put it in a pot that's too large for the size of the plant. So for a start, this plant should be in a pot this size. You can tell by the colors of the leaves that it hasn't had a lot of light or fertilizer and the soil has way too much bark in it. Now this is orchid soil that it was put in and unfortunately this person, when they purchased this plant, they were advised to put it in orchid mixture and it just has not worked because the bark smothers the roots of the plant and it just can't get enough carbon dioxide. Now I'm not sure if we can save this plant but I'm going to try because it does still have a little bit of life left in it. And if we can save it, I think that would be amazing. So the first thing we need to do is try and get all of this horrible soil off. Or as much as possible. And try not to disturb the roots too much. Okay, so we need a little bit more soil in here. So this is just straight African violet soil mix. Where I live, I just use the straight pre-mixed African violet soil because it just works better for me. A little bit more soil. This plant also had, it was too wet you can see this like I mean the soil is just full of bark and it's very moist way too moist a little bit more soil in there pat it down you can see with a brush to try and get some of that dirt off it And then we'll just give it a little water. Let the water run through. Unfortunately, I probably could have done with a tiny a pot that was a little bit smaller, but hopefully it should be fine. We'll give it a lot more light. Doesn't look the best at the moment, but it will get there, I think. Now this water already has some fertilizer in it, and that's the fertilizer that I use. And I find that that's quite good. It's got good amounts of nitrogen and potassium in it and it seems to work well for me. So there's the finished results. A little bit of dirt on it but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be put in a nice bright position and it should recover. Fingers crossed and I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Thanks for watching.